Hello and welcome back to our Let's Play of Civilization 4. This is part 17, I believe, of uh, Gandhi's Revenge, we've titled it. You've joined us at the point where, at least in the last episode or two, we've, we've given up on military conquest. We're just hoping to survive military conquest against our northern neighbours, the Portuguese, Zhao II. We have a technological advantage over him, but he has a much bigger... Um, a much bigger civilization. So our current plan, so stay with me on this one, our current plan is to try and get a cultural victory with these three cities. And that is a long way off. But, let me exit that city, that's quite the din. It's quite a way off, but that's what we're going to go for. Okay, we're, they're all building uh, towards cultural, uh, towards the cultural goal at the moment. Um, and we'll just continue this turn on. Okay, we definitely need the army though for the rest of the guys. We would like uh, a couple of extra marines. We haven't built any yet. I'm really just army, army, army. Now I I did build that to attack a city. That was a um, likely mistake. Now one of the best ways. For an army to the a culture, a civilization to defend itself. This is not my real life view, but I'll go for it in this game. Is to attack. So we are in the situation that I think we might be able to successfully take one or two cities off them in the next couple of turns. We are just building up this army, knowing full well that he's also building up. Which could be trouble. Problematic, if you will. Okay, how's these cities looking? We'll have a look at them after their uh, broadcast towers are built. Let's see what kind of shape they're in. Delhi, our, our old capital. We've moved the capital up to a city we feel needs it a little more. Delhi, our old capital, has the most culture. So we're going to be able to build random things with that. We don't have to concentrate fully on on culture for this city now in saying that culture is still a goal so we will go ahead and build this uh, any espionage goes towards culture we've turned off espionage which is probably a mistake but okay nothing nothing useful this guy can do anymore we'll just put him straight into culture and we'll we'll certainly have a look at where that leads us After we move this, um, after we move just a little this army around, we could probably be doing this a little more efficiently. Let me know how to do it more efficiently, actually. Okay, we need 163 turns in the current um, in our current system. That will get us to a victory, I think, before the game runs out. Only barely, and that's assuming they do not get a, get to a victory. Now, unfortunately, on that front, they are already voting for diplomatic leaders, and Zhao is actually very close. So that worries us greatly. Okay, I'm just gonna wait until a marine gets up here, and then we're gonna start moving this this quite significant army over to try and take this city. But we do have to leave enough to be able to defend it. We're still up against airships. The earth is the cradle of the mind, but one cannot eternally live in a cradle. Okay, what what are we looking for at this point? I don't think there's any more realistic cultural points we can get. Um, out of any corporations. I think there might be a civic. We'll have actually. I think we've changed civic to be a bit more warlike. We are going to need to change that back. ASAP. We could also make a beeline for the Apollo program, but I don't think that's a realistic, um, a realistic possibility, due to the fact that our main rival, who we haven't even faced in any battle or any sense, Mansa Musa has got a quite a technological advantage on us. A significant technological advantage. 
Okay, what do we... Oh, I had, an, I had a plan there. I can't remember it. So we'll just carry on. <laughs> oh yeah, I was going to see... Do we have an aircraft carrier and we have planes in it? We do. And we have planes in the city? That's... I can't click on this city. There we go. Okay, we don't have planes in the city. We don't want planes in that city because this city could be lost. If we are being realistic. Have we got any city defenders? We do. One, two. Another one, but... Okay, let's leave it at... Uh, let's leave it at that and let's move the rest of this army... thought we might be able to make it in one go we need a railway right here to be able to do that in one go that's just as good. the forest is just as good for us okay let's start getting uh let's start getting the city down let's go let's go after the units rather than the bombard the defenses for the moment no, I'm going back on that idea. Let's bombard the defenses. Get that down. Now, our biggest concern here... Let's leave a tank there for extra defense. One of our biggest concerns is the fact that they might just come in and take the city right out. That is a, a very real concern of mine. But well, there's not really much I can do about it. Let's like roll this dice. How long is this is this broadcast tower taking? In fact, my settings seem to be a little off, so bear with me one moment here. I think I can change it so I can see the numbers in that settings. Hmm, I I don't see an option here. I want my city. I want the number of un uh, the number of. I want the time it takes. Maybe it's in graphics here. Uh, single unit graphics. City radius. No global view. Detailed city info. I. Would have thought that's it, but I don't. I cannot see the number here. Oh, it is in there. It's a one. Okay. There we go. Let's just see how this war goes. Let me go over the war zone when we do this turn. See what kind of situation we're in. It will relieve a lot of pressure on this city as well. He's built up to 32% defense. If we can manage to get some guided missiles, uh, yes, please. Hollow programs. Not going to add anything to my culture, so I will not be looking at that. I just remembered what I had forgotten. I'd forgotten to check my civics. More guided missiles and a bomber. Okay, let's check these civics. Yeah, I think the universal suffrage for the culture will help us a little bit more. As will environmentalism when we get that. In uh, actually, when do we get that? Uh, four more turns. Yeah, let's wait the four more turns as we're still at war. We'll wait those turns until we change our civics. Okay, we're just going after this city with no. I'm not gonna hold back. Well, we'll see what these numbers. 95% for the first civilian strike. That is perfect. We we might get through this without any casualties. It's more the bigger problem will be when he reinforces. Let's move uh, most of the tanks. Yeah. Okay, we've taken that city back uh, for multiple times now, and we'll move some of the. Some of the defenders in. Certainly the one with city defense. And we'll leave them to defend the rest of the artillery. Oh, we'll move some of the artillery in as well. I think we're able to do. Perfect. Okay. 
starting to get positive again. Although I think we've this war has been we've drawn it out way too much. We had a chance, not only a chance, a good chance to win this earlier on in the game. But we took it too lightly. Much, much too lightly. No incursions across our border. It doesn't look like Right, what's their response? Hopefully anemic. Ooh. Took out one of our ships. Let's get let's get some more uh, ships up here. Another submarine and uh, another battleship. And more artillery, more tanks. I would like to upgrade my artillery soon, so... Okay, what have we got? Free speech, good. Once they're not voting for um, a global leader or whatever the, the, the winning mechanic is. Okay, we can't get this artillery piece there without going across, uh, through the border. So let's go around the long way. Alright, let's let's move all these guys into the city and we'll just consolidate them for a turn or two. I did say I was thinking of raising the city to the ground. I maybe should have done that. That might have been a better option for me. But I, I've never really done it too much and uh, I guess I just don't feel comfortable doing it. It's my... My good nature. How can you just go ahead and kill a city? Alright, let's have these guys defend. And we'll move them into our new city of Marine. And another guided missile up here. Okay, these... Uh this, these aircraft can't really do much use. And that is the advantage of taking this city. I can now use it as an airbase, but it's a weak airbase that can be recaptured quite quickly, and I worry quite soon. But it's good. The diplomatic victory never came about. The, the war here is going quite well, relatively speaking. Ah, I guess that's why a lot of these um, transitions between turns is going longer. My aircraft, uh, that animation runs to defend each time. Which is a bit wasteful if you ask me, but not much we can do about it. Okay, I think we can get tanks around there to attack him. And uh, let's get another battleship as well. And more infantry. I think I'm under building infantry at the moment. Okay, there's that submarine we actually started building a long time ago. No wonder he hasn't been in the fights with me. Let's get him up here. Okay, there was a ship that did attack us quite recently, so let's send one of our aircraft. One of our aircraft. Um, no, that's uh, not what I wanted. Uh, one of our aircraft just have a look for him. He must have been able to get out of the city and back in. Which is a bit of annoyance, but we can't survive it. Okay, tanks. Thanks for the memories. Okay, let's move these around and uh, punish him for punish him for coming into our territory. He did get a uh, he did get a worker out of the deal, so I guess we are the losers in that. Okay, guided missiles though. Like you, know, I don't know what use they're going to be to us at the moment, but. You know, it feels good to have them. It's, it certainly doesn't hurt. They're quite the comfort sitting there in my arsenal. 
Okay, one more turn of uh, consolidating these guys, and then we're just gonna have to move out again. We'll leave a lot of these infantry back at the base uh, to defend, but I need to keep this rolling. I guess this is the city mostly within our range of uh, most of our attack options, even our guided missile of guided missile options. So we will likely be aiming for that. Everything is subject to change in war. <clears throat> and then we'll have a look at our, what our cultural situation is. And more importantly, what the Inca's cultural situation is. Okay, they attacked us. That's, that's pretty good, actually. I want the attack if we win the fight, that is. So we can weaken them. <clears throat> I'd rather fight them here than have to fight them in a fortified city. Although in a fortified city I get to put my artillery in, use my planes. I guess I want to I want to bring the fight to them, but I guess I look on the bright side no matter what. I don't know what that says about me. But when they attack me, I'm happy. When I attack them, I'm happy. Okay, did that ship slip past me the turn before or is it only just slip past me? It doesn't bode well. Okay, let's send out a a flotilla to kill him. Excellent, and we'll try and get as far back to to the fight as we can. Okay, uh, I don't. I think we'll just have tanks deal with these guys on the way. We'll just have tanks deal with these on the way, and. So, for example, like just one hit, one hit, and then we're ju we're just gonna move out. Oh, it's into open territory, but <laughs> this is could this be another one of my mistakes? Tune in next time. Well, not here. All right, let's let's move everybody, but. Good few. I still I need to bring my I need to bring my general and I want to bring a medic. So I sort of have to. I think that's all I can leave, and that's that's a little dangerous considering my air force is here. But so be it. Okay, I guess it's no harm to it's no harm to leave these guys on my back lines, um, just mopping up, just uh, mopping up any dangers that arises. I can see that as being useful. Let's leave one tank here. He can always catch up with the other guys. And I'm not really sure how my marine got so injured. And again, we'll leave this tank here to defend, but he can catch up next turn. Okay, let's check out that cultural situation. We promised. Right, how are we looking? This one, he's not going to quite make it to um, to the end of the game. 189. I don't think we have quite that. 176. But that's all right. We're, we'll hopefully improve on this. We can up our culture. Actually, let's open now and see how much that affects it. 183. Not enough. And it does cost us quite a bit of technology. But hopefully, hopefully situations will arise that we can help this. Um, extra, extra resources would be great. Let's actually check that out right now. What do we need? Gems, I think, might be one. I'll have to check on that. Uh, but I believe gems are one of the resources that help us out. And the rest are, are the coals, the aluminiums, things like that. But uh, I think it's only gems are on offer. Let me just check that. Indian and Indian. Yes, we need gems. Washington, what can you do for me? You've lots of gems on offer. How about horse? You probably... I might want horse, I don't know. What will you give me for it? 
Yeah, you definitely want horse. How about two gems? Are we not able to do that? That's a shame. Okay, I'll take that deal though, happily. And we'll just have to continue on. I'll have to check what uh, Delhi looks like. Where? <laughs> Destroyers are killing us. I thought we had battleships up there. They might all be dead already. And uh, the submarines are on the way, but we are reinforcing that uh, flotilla, so hopefully we'll be alright. Now let's just check this city out. How's he set up? He will get to uh, legend or whatever the, the word for it is. Uh, plenty of time, 62 turns. So he, he can just continue to build however we see fit. An extra battleship or two. How about... I think some extra fighters would probably not go amiss. And then we'll continue on the infantry stint. Okay, that seems to be defending quite well. Let's leave one guy at home to hopefully repair a little. Okay, we're still out in the open, unfortunately. But... I'll leave him here. Um, but we are about to attack a city, which shares us up no end. That's defense is taken down significantly at this point. We seem to have a uh, we seem to have a fighter here, but I don't understand how or why that is happening. We might have taken both of our battleships. No, we have. Yeah, we had taken our only battleship out of that flotilla, which is a mistake. We should. We need to micromanage that a little more. By a little more, I obviously mean a lot more. Uh, let's let's leave these two tanks here um, to help us not be flanked and different things. I'm not quite sure how it's going to do that, but I'm sure a tank will come in useful from time to time. Okay, let's uh, just clean up each these guys this turn, and we will end the video here. I think I'm not sure if there's anything too interesting to do we will use biology oh we need medicine in fact so we won't be getting environmentalist environmentalism next turn and free market is quite useful for us for the next while so let's upgrade the universal suffrage right now we'll take the hit on war wearianism if that's a word which i'm sure it's not okay the chinese don't have anything to give us resources I was just double checking that and uh yeah let's leave it there Okay, thanks for joining me in this long series. It is hopefully going to continue quite a bit longer. I'm quite hopeful. Although it could end at any moment. If they, if we get attacked by too many forces, if things go too far against us, I am willing to call an end to this if it looks unwinnable. But at the moment, I think there's a slight, ever so slight, maybe, but still a real possibility of a cultural victory. It's going to be difficult. But... Stay tuned and see if I manage to pull it off. Thanks for watching and goodbye.